Hello YouTube, welcome everyone to yet another new video. Today we will be having a look at Bruce Lipkowski, who is the pity for Chick Hicks in the first Cars movie. So I'll start off taking a look at him. So he's the tall pity model. The same as, for example, Petrol Pulaski, who we'll bring back in later. Um, but... Uh, The main difference is that he's got a moustache. He's got brown eyes. Uh, it's of a devilish smiling face. Um, it's very, very I believe, blue eyes. I have, uh, I think I have two Bruce Bukowskis on the supercharged card. One with and one without the new the logo that says new. I've checked to see if either of them have it. I don't think they do. I'm not sure if it was released that way or not, but anyways. He wears like just green all around, but he's got the HTB logo. HTB Hostile Takeover Bank, with the two yellow balloons floating off on the sides, and on the cap. Green cap here, got the side windows, back windows, black tires with yellow rims, just like the other members of Chick Hicks team. So, that being Chief Chick, the other PDs, and the man himself, Chick Hicks. Folks, a bit better. Oops. Um, here's the base 2357 EA, which would have meant the 235th day of 2007. The one thing I just noticed is that he does not actually have. He does not actually have the. Doesn't that have this bit on the top here of the forks? If you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I'll compare him to the other members of his team that I own, and we'll bring in the other PDs that share his model. So first we've got Chief Chick, who was released in the two-pack last year with Chick Hicks. Um, a two pack of Chief Chick and Bruce Bukowski would be called. Just like we got a two pack of Roger Wheeler and Luke Pedal work. I feel like it would have made more sense, but at the same time, I'm glad they didn't re release Bruce Bukowski because he probably wouldn't have been as rare then. But it still would have made sense. Still would have been a cool two pack. And then we've got the man himself here, Chick Hicks. Sorry, I just realised my hand is probably in the way. Yeah, so, yeah, so, just, not NASCAR, that's silly me, HTB, very on the road team, they don't get much attention as I feel they should, so, um, at the time of recording this video, which is, which is the 13th of February, because it's where I am at the moment, we're back in lockdown, I almost certain we'll be out by the end of, by, Mid April, early to mid April when this goes up, but at the moment we're back in hard lockdown because there have been locally transmitted cases of the UK strain of um, coronavirus, which is not good at all. But, um, what yeah, so I've just been grinding out a heap of videos, but yeah. As of now, there's no HTB next gen announced for the NASCAR series yet, but there might be soon. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know why I'm comparing them. I'm supposed to be bringing them all in, sorry. We've got Bionico, Tall Pity. We've got. I couldn't be bothered. I can take the tyres off, but I really couldn't be bothered. Just feeling a bit lazy, I guess. We've got Megan Shifter, Stacy. We've got the Octane Gang, Tall Pity. Oh, it's a tie for him, but it's anyway. This is the rest of my Octane Gang team members at the moment. Whoops, there's um, Piccolo Perry of Piccolo, I'm not too sure. Nebuchadnezzar Schmidt, that's a strange name to say at least. And then we have Petrol Pulaski. I have these PDs, which one is your favourite? 
I'd have to go with the Octane Gain Torpedo simply because of his rarity. And then, um, and then Bruce Bukowski, and then maybe Megan Shifter. Bit of a hard one though, but yeah, anyways, that's it for today's video. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, favourite, share. Do all the stuff I tell you to do, and I'll see you all in the next video.